Hey guys, so a lot of you guys have been asking um, for a tour of our boat, which is also our home. So this video is going to be about where we live on Quicksilver, kind of how we do things. And uh, if you have any questions later, put them in the comments. So here she is. cockpit this is where I spend most of my time just reading in the mornings or doing work out here it's pretty sunny and nice um, this is where we drive the boat aka the helm and it works pretty well for like a back porch area so come on in so if you've never been in a Catalina they're pretty known for how wide they are so we got pretty pretty good amount of space in here um, this is like our main living area we got Colby's setup where he does some work this is our galley another word for the kitchen um, pretty small space to to prep food but we've probably we've gotten pretty used to it um, everything looks kind of messy I think compared to a normal kitchen but you just get really creative with space and storage. Here's our pantry, all our food, we got our coffee set up, um, lots of space for spices and things like that. We got a little two burner um, hot plate here, it's electric, it's been awesome for um, being a stove for us and we got two sinks but we really only use one of them and that's something I want to replace in the future but little cutting board and um, some more drawers. Our engine is actually right under here so you can see it when you look through these compartments here and here if you take this off there's more space to see the engine so that's a little different opening up your silverware drawer and smelling engine oil is something you kind of get used to on a boat. Another thing a lot of people ask us often is how we cook food, how we store food. Um, we don't have a very large fridge, as you can see. It's a mini fridge and we get really creative with the space. <laughs> so it looks really full, but um, it works for us and that's about a couple days worth of food for us. So we definitely shop more than we used to when we lived in an apartment um, just because we can't store as much as we want in the fridge but it's been working for us pretty well so a lot of people commented on these gray canvas things we got going on the uh, back side of the cabin here um, we have one on both sides and they've been super handy to store things um, they just clip right onto the boat and they have lots of utensils, lots of storage, and they've been a lifesaver too. This is probably our more messy space in the boat because it's kind of hard to reach, it's kind of hard to get back there. We have our oven right there, some surfboard storage, and some just extra storage for things that we don't access very often. So kind of like our foul weather gear back there. We have. Um, just some extra blankets and things. Back behind the cushion we have lots of storage space here so this is kind of becomes Colby's messy sock drawer and uh, we got extra fire extinguishers, extra propane for a little uh, grill outside. But if under and behind every single cushion is a little storage space, whether it's for our water, our engine, um, extra supplies and things. So there is a lot more storage than you would see. All right, so where do our clothes go in a sailboat? We have just some t-shirts and kind of nicer clothes hanging in the closet here. Still kind of lots of extra room. 
and uh, just little things in the drawers. We've also built a little shelf down here to where we can put uh, extra clothes in those bins. So it works well. I will not hide the fact that we do have a storage unit off the boat. Uh, we have lots of extra sails and bigger things, camping gear, uh, extra surfboards, that sort of thing in our storage units. Welcome to our head, aka our bathroom. Uh, as you can see, it's not very large. I am sitting on our toilet here, which maybe we'll do in a different video for you guys, how we kind of maintain our holding tank system. Um, it's not the most glorious of tasks, but we do pump it out about once a week. And uh, there's, a, there's a place in the harbor to do that. But we have just our essential bathroom items here. Um, we also have our laundry and our shower supplies. We could actually shower inside of here. Maybe if we're going on a trip, there's a shower curtain that goes around and kind of shower yourself off. But I won't lie, we've never used it because our marina has really nice bathroom and shower facilities that we use um, often. Welcome to our V-Bird, um, also known as our bedroom. This is where Colby and I sleep. We took a couple nights to figure out the best sleeping arrangements for both of us. Um, we first started with our heads at that end, and uh, we quickly learned that was not the right way to sleep two people in a V-Bird because our shoulders did not fit in this small space. So now we sleep with our heads at this side. We also do have a dock box, that's what this is. And that's where we get our shore power from. So we plug this cable into the side of our boat that gives us all our electricity. Uh, but this is a great little extra storage space too for tools, uh, cleaning supplies, sailing stuff, things like that. We also got the yacht club right behind us and the uh, beach right across the street over there. You guys can see we have lots of boat neighbors here in this marina. Um, it's pretty cool because every other slip is someone who lives on their boat. So you have a little nice little community and uh, lots of people to kind of bounce sailing ideas off with, fixing up boats, uh, that sort of thing. And that is where we live on Quicksilver. Uh, thanks for watching and if you want to see more videos like this of us sailing or living on our boat, uh, finding adventures each day, uh, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and you will get more uh, videos just like this one. Um, cut!